Hi, Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands here. Um, how you doing, everybody? I've just come off of night, so uh, surprised I've got so much energy at the moment. But I need to make a card. My sister and her husband are flying off to South Africa to see their daughter and son-in-law and the family um, and little Liesl, their granddaughter, and to invite or welcome a new addition to the family. So I want to make them a card to send them on their way and wish them luck. Now the theme of the card, if you haven't guessed, is travel and we're going to be flying so we're going to have various aeroplanes but first of all I want to find the lettering for the traditional bon voyage greeting so I've got a tons of letters here and I'm hoping upon hope that I've got the right letters in my jumble I have a few spare here um, just in case but hopefully in this lot I'll find what I need so I've written it out so I can spell it um. <laughs> give me an idea of what I'm looking for so first of all I need a B which I can see straight away here an O that's a Q uh, Q don't want to need a Q I need a Y for the voyage bit Y I need an A can we find a G, anybody? Keep your eyes peeled, guys, and let me know what you see. Oh, there's a G. See if you can spot it before I do. Um, ends with an E. E. Beyage. I think we need a few more letters. Uh, o. N. Oh, that one. Oh, I got it. B and O. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. It's a traditional greeting to wish someone on a safe journey. So, that's my lettering. Let's get that put away before I lose it all over the floor. Bear with me. I'm just pushing them off to the side here. I'm catching them in my hand off the side of the desk so that hopefully I don't lose any. And I think I mentioned on a previous video this is um, these letterings I've collected over the time um, and I think they were a either Amazon or Wish um, supply, but they're very handy, and you know you've got a good choice of well, <laughs> hopefully you've got all twenty six letters of the alphabet in the sets, at least. Right, so that's them out of the way. So we've got our bon voyage. Now, I was looking at to put a map as my background, but then I looked a um, bit more research and I found my childhood encyclopedia. A lot of memories to this encyclopedia and I know my sister would appreciate where the source material has come for this um, card. And luckily, I got the number one, which is A for aeroplane. Aeroplane's on the front there. I think they're the red arrows. I don't think they're flying with red arrows. So I'm not sure what flight they're flying with, but um, it's not red arrows. And just about make out my very scrawly, childish writing, Debbie Ann Lathy. That's what I was known as. 
long, long time ago. So this is the image I'm looking at and I'm hoping it will fit on my, my page. Right, I'm going to just move my letters to the top for a minute. Out my way. Because I need to do a bit of... Uh... So the, the best way to find out if your image is going to fit on your page properly is square it up on your mat or on your lines or whatever so you've got a nice squarish squared off picture and put your surface you want to cover over the top and then you know if you can't see any of the image around the sides it's going to fit so now we need to work out how much either side we're going to need so that's right on the edge so if we come down see how much we've got up the top here we can come down a fraction more although we do need to read some time for the some space for the lettering at the top so I think that will do us so I'm going to just draw around my image and that will give me hopefully my size background I need now remembering when you're drawing round you've got a little bit of uh, width to it so you want to cut inside the lines now I'm going to cut it on my trusty cutter paper cutter up the lines making sure I'm right to the top now with this you can just about she says just about see the lines through this gap here so here goes it was quite sad taking the pages out of this book but I know it will be useful for future even just the the writing is beautiful script um, and it will be used um, and it's got a new lease of life people don't use encyclopedias anymore they've got the internet which is far more up-to-date um, and this encyclopedia must be good 30 years old probably and it's going to live on in this card and many other things that I can make with it. These strips I shall use to make something else in a minute. I think. No. No, that was an idea that I had but I've thrown it away because it's... I'm using... With this map I was going to do an idea with a spring with the aeroplane flying above the map but I don't know if I can do it on this because I don't know I can, I can, tr I can try oh yeah I'll make flowers out of it that, that's for sure if I don't use it for the my spring come on cutter don't muck me about it doesn't like trimming very little fine bits it gets a little bit chewed up on the edges we don't want it to get chewed up today we want my smooth picture okay so I just go to one side can go to one side don't think I'll finish with it but I can come down on the side here right let's see if I pick oh now I didn't do this side 
I wonder why it was a bit uneven on the sides. Let's bring this back up again. Should have realised I've only got three strips instead of four. Time of morning, I can't count, I don't think. Right, that's number four, strippy. Okay. Now, any overhang, if there is any, I think there's ever so slight, we can always um, trim off. Well, I think we're pretty good. So we now have a base for our card. I think I'm going to put the Bon Voyage, if it will fit, down the bottom here. The thing about card making, especially if you're doing a special card or a, a card that is going to be personalised, you have an idea in your head and you have an idea of supplies you need but when you actually come to make it the ideas are pretty fluid so it it will change up as you see an opportunity to like I didn't I thought I was going to put my um, lettering above the top of the globe or even in a smile under the globe but then I saw the base of the globe and I thought hang on that would make a nice base to put my, my letters on so that is what I'm going to do now also in this beautiful encyclopedia are some aeroplane pictures so I want to choose, I mean, I don't think they're going to be flying in a, a double winged or a RAF jet or even a super fortress, but I thought it might be fun to put a Concorde over the top uh, and maybe different planes flying round the globe. So cut out a few and um, place them one in each quadrant as if they're flying around the globe chasing each other so I need to get me little scissors out wherever they are scissors scissors come back where are you any ideas where my scissors are boy aha they were hiding hiding under the map so we don't want the um, the writing necessarily but we don't want to take up right to the edge of the picture don't look Deborah don't look on the back when you're fussy cutting double check the back and make sure it's you're not cutting into an image that you might prefer I'm good I'm doing what they call is a kiss cut which is leaving a very narrow white border around my image one it helps it stand out and two if it's quite an intricate pattern you don't have to then try and weave your scissors around the pattern you just sort of curve over it as such and because we've got a dark background it will help also to highlight the picture bit close there but that's fine so we're getting there This um, 
book page is also lovely thickness um, compared to books you get um, a bit more modern books shall we say it was much flimsier paper this paper is quite um, substantial and will probably bear making the flowers that I do in my Etsy shop um, without having a backing to it without you know sort of putting an extra layer of paper over it to thicken it up so it's worth worth an investigate it was sitting on my shelf doing nothing and previously it had been stored in the garage doing nothing so I might as well I know some people will say oh you're cutting up a old books and what have you but I'm giving them new life so that's number one let's make sure we get him the right way up so I'll put you there for the moment oh my bon voyage has gone squiffy oh dear we can't have a squiffy bon voyage can we mind you that depends on how much ichor hall we have during the um upcoming party <laughs> won't be for me because I'm driving right so we'll have this let's cut this out roughly now I'm being very careful not to cut the nose off Concord or the tail off the super fortress pane okay a bit more manageable piece of paper to work with now and once again like with the circles fussy cutting um, is a lot easier if you move your paper um, on the curves rather than your scissors so, yeah. chomp along with this the last bit this should be quite straightforward As we just need to put all the pieces together what I do when I've got a, a card to make is I gather bits and pieces and have a project um, area I should really have a project tray but I haven't got to that extent yet um, a little pile in the corner and as I come across things I think oh that will go nice on that or that will go nice on that and I put them in a pile and then I've got bits to work with so if you're not in a major hurry then that's something that you can think oh coming up I've got a special occasion or whatever and start gathering items I do have another special occasion coming up that I'm doing a special card for which I'm hoping to film um, but I'm not going to say too much because those people might person people might be watching um, usually when you're making a special card though you probably give yourself more than an hour before you do yeah. the film yeah well we've had a really hectic filming schedule and my work schedule has been a bit tight as well so this card is actually needed for <laughs> about an hour's time <laughs> so but we'll get there we'll get there I mean I had it near enough prepped ready and had all the bits and pieces what I wanted in my head so I don't think looking at it the Concord's a bit too white I want a bit more color so I might I've got two green here so I might do the two yellow to match the base of the so I'll do the Wright Brothers um, biplane, that'll be fun, and 
the Blurris Eightbis. I'm not sure I'm pr pronouncing that correctly, but I wanted to do the wing, um, the human wings, but I haven't got room on my picture. But what you can do is once you've taken the elements out tuck the page inside the book and then when you're flicking through you can maybe use that for something else another time right i'm not going to cut in between all the spokes don't panic folks Jack of all trades, master of not many. Oh yeah. Well, I like to dabble in many different things, have many interests. Jack of all, master of some. Yeah. Yeah. Also, well, you're not master of making sure you're on camera. Am I not? Oh dear. Well, you've zoomed in. That's why. Off well, it's because I, I need to bring it back towards me so that I can see what I'm doing. Right. So, which way are you facing? That way, I think. You're supposed to be over there, flying upside down like a daredevil. There you go. Well, I think the way I've got them, they're going to fly into each other at the moment, so watch out for the bang. Let's hope they're, um, what do you call the person that's, no, not the, the big t the the radar people direct them away from each other. Right, so that can be stored for future. That can go back in the thing. I did um, have a few other options. I had a stickers of the aeroplanes, but that was just an outline and I felt that it wasn't uh, clear enough as to what it was. It's difficult to show you on this background. Doesn't really give you a very clear picture it's just lots of lines so I wasn't 100% happy with that but right back to me cutting because uh, time's against us now all these bits and pieces can either be stuck down with stick glue of your choice my choice my choice is print stick, but there are other stick glues available, and you might prefer them. Um, there's Uhu. Um, I'm not sure about other brands, but I know there's Uhu stick glue. And I'm going to be sticking the letters down with my trusty Kalau, because that's a little bit more oomph to it. Oh, we like my idea, did you? Your idea? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Although it might take some time. I had a, a suggestion that with the um, 
wrapping paper episode. Which would have gone live yesterday. Yeah. Um, we're, we're a little bit squiffy with our videoing. We're videoing number 27 and number 19 at the same time or something like that. Yes, um, no, 18. 18. 18. 18. Um, we're filling in the gaps. <laughs> and we're filling in the gaps between uh, another series which is due to start in the next couple of days. Um, and so our filming schedule is a bit bizarre because we're trying to work out what day things come out and will they see it before they see the actual thing or not type what, of thing. So when I say tomorrow, I mean yesterday. Well, when I say in two days' time, I mean yesterday. The first episode went live yesterday. So do tell us what you think of that under this video last video, next video, whatever. <laughs> Just let us know. <laughs> yeah. The tries and tribulations of an editor, eh? Yeah. yeah. don't know where that come from. Um, the other thing I had was a... Um, rubber stamp of a little puffy aeroplane helicopter thing with clouds coming out of it and I thought that was a bit too childish so we we gave up on that but it was just giving me ideas and food for thought but I'm happy with what we've got so now we need to remove our bits and bobs so we can stick our base down it's all about the base about the base about the base <laughs> yeah yeah, that was the name of your picture. Yeah. Which is so, entirely what you were talking about. Mm. Right, I need something to glue on. Do I have a glue paste on that? Yep, here we go. The glue, glue page. Yeah, I'm using old magazines for my glue pages. Um, well, they're basically bits of old, something you're not going to be using um, and it just stops your work surface, your mat, um, your table, whatever, um, from getting too gunked up with glue because when you're glue sticking or even using your Kalau or your other mediums, um, okay. it, they, it can go off the edge a bit. It's like a thing of... Um... Paper or something wrong with it. Yeah, you could use that. Um, but magazines usually come free, and especially if you've got um, junk mail coming through the post, then you've got free glue pages. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Depending on how thick the paper is and how pretty they are. For me, um, everything's a craft supply, unless proven otherwise. Um, clothes, things like pizza inputs, that sort of thing would be quite good. Yeah, yeah, because they're quite big as well. Yeah. Um, and then when it gets too sticky on there, you can just fold it over and use it as a smaller piece and gradually use it up. Right, to get your... First of all, you need to make sure your image is the right way up, your card is opening the correct way, because you don't want the image upside down and the card opening backwards and then we work from the top uh, sorry from the bottom up lining up the bottom and smoothing down as we go to try and holding up smoothing down. and getting it as straight as we can I'm using my bone folder which is basically I think they call them bone folders because they used to be made out of bone but now they're made out of hard silicon and it's just a useful tool that's not got any sharp edges that you can smooth things down with and the fold bit comes from when you're running it down the fold of a 
a crease that you've folded. <laughs> well, that was explained well, wasn't it? So, we have our card opening the correct way. presenting it to the wrong camera. I'm presenting it to a fictitious camera over my shoulder, I think. Okay, so our background is on. Let's get the little aeroplanes on. And with the stick glue, just have a little bit up the edge like with a lipstick you don't want to have too much pushed up at once because otherwise it might snap so be careful with your, your glues and make sure you you don't push it up too far yeah you know, don't want it too high up you can always twist a little bit up each time but probably about that that amount where are we that amount well, going by the picture on the fridge, it's a bright red. The colour suits you best. And making sure we're planes not flying upside down. Not that one that way. fighter jet I think that's what it is I'm not very good on you aeroplane experts out there might be able to tell me what um, what's what you can be diving around that way well one of the people who said we receiving this card will be able to tell you exactly he will yes he'll be like oh that's a Whatever it is. Well, they put this art a bit wrong. So you have this bit instead of this bit. <laughs> yeah. He, um, I don't know if he still does, but he used to buy parts for aeroplanes, bits and pieces. Um, We're not talking model kits either. No. It's the real, the real planes. Now, they've got an orange blotch there, so I'm just moving my tail up there to cover the, <coughs> the blotch. <coughs> You have a little bit of wiggle room with the stick glue, but not a huge amount. So, how are we doing with that? Is that good? So, all we've got to do is stick the letters on, and we are bon voyage. So, I need my calal for that. I don't need the big one, I just need the little squeezy one. So, Make sure my letters are the right way up. I'll do my bond first. You don't want upside down ends and stuff. A good amount, but you don't want it leaking around the sides, so try and keep to the middle. And again, you will have a bit of wiggle room. Wiggle time to get it in position. It dries quite quickly, but not so quickly that as soon as you put it to the page, you can't adjust it. But it is very stringy. That's the only thing I would say about this Kalal glue. It's very stringy, but it's a bit like the Beacons 3-in-1 or Fabri-Tac. They are both very stringy as well. So they're probably made of similar things. All right, so I'm having that bond step down a little bit. And then a gap. I hope you're watching closely. Make sure I put the letters in the right places. Make sure the O's upside down. What? Took you a didn't it? It did. Right. It's whatever way up. This is one of the ones that you can use inside out and back to front itself anyway. Although if you had it sideways it might look a bit weird. I'll go stick to my fingers. I've got gooky fingers now. 
Um, what comes next? The Y. Getting a dyslex dyslexic person spell a French word. Yeah, that's uh, probably not the best idea, so but we will work on it. Back to front. Not sure which. Okay. Well, that one's pretty solid on there. So, so the white back to front. The white back to front. Yeah, that. <laughs> That's okay. how that works. Yeah. <laughs> now the glue will dry clear, so I'm not worried about too much spillage. You could, but by the time you can use a damp cloth and not knock things flying, it will be dry anyway, so. So I'm assuming from your comment there, we've both agreed we won't be done it again. Huh? Oh, goodness. Yeah, we both agree that the other way around the better, but that V wasn't moving. Yeah. <laughs> so we just yeah, we're the best way around now, which I don't think it still works. It's just um I'm gonna put it back down the same way. Let's see. No, I don't think I have. Yeah. That better. Ah, let go of my finger. More glue on my fingers than I got on the letters now, I think. Just from a thick to the right. Again, I don't think it does that, so you're fine. Yeah. Big. Alright, we're nearly done. Just got the E to go. Bagum. We're nearly there. Whoop! Load of glue, uh, strings then. Stringy bits. Looks like it. We'll do a... So here we are, folks. The finished article. Well, thanks again for coming along for the ride. I hope you enjoyed and learnt a few things on the way. Much love. See you in the next one. Bye bye.